We're gonna get into the Detroit Lions draft strategy. I don't remember who you said is starting, but we gotta talk about the defensive side of the ball. And I'll tell you this, uh, especially with cutting Trey Flowers, that, that was the inevitable. So that doesn't really change anything for me. I, I understand that you know we have to wait and see if they re-sign Charles Harris, but that second overall pick the entire time should always be a defensive end. It, it should always be an edge rusher, whether it's Aiden Hutchinson, whether it's Kayvon, you know, whether it's even guys like Trayvon Walker, whoever it is. That's got to be an edge rusher number two. So that does not change for me. Even though they cut Trey Flowers, even though they're in conversation with Allen Robinson, I still would like them to take a wide receiver between 32 or 34. It does not matter to me. If they sign a guy like Allen Robinson for a, a f- more friendly deal, um, then maybe you do take a receiver at 66. But right now, defense needs to be the first two or two out of the first three picks. It has to be, absolutely. Whether that's you know defensive end and linebacker, whether that's defensive end and safety maybe address the safety later in the draft to take a linebacker it doesn't matter to me uh, the lions although they overperformed last year on defense considering who they had on the roster it's obvious they need help they were damn near last in the nfl getting to the quarterback even with charles harris even with trey flowers so those needs are still there they, they need to address it whether you know you, you get a guy that is a for sure thing at Aiden Hutchison, or maybe the, the Jags see that they were also bottom of the league and getting it after the quarterback, and maybe they take a defensive end. Um, they franchise tag their left tackle, so interesting things coming along. But either way, Adam, it, it should always be defense. That first, that second overall pick, it should not be Malik Willis. It should even talk about defense. It should not be Jordan Davis. It's got to be an edge rusher. You got to get after the quarterback. Pick positions closest to the football now number 32 i wouldn't say wide receiver i'd say two the two picks in the first round have to be defense maybe you'll go wide receiver with 34 maybe even go at 36 uh give me two out of the first three gotta be defense and i'll be a happy camper i'll be good yeah look i think the draft strategy hasn't changed much because the expectation was always trey flowers was likely to get cut. i think we all expected it we talked about it for weeks really and here we go He's done. He's gone as of June 1st, obviously, officially. But the money's going to be there. And when we look at draft strategy, now it truly does depend on what are we doing in free agency. I would love to give you a a surefire plan for 2, 32, 34, and 66. But are you going after a wide receiver in free agency, or is this all smoke? Are you going after a secondary player? I doubt it. But are you going to try to re-sign Tracy Walker? If not, okay, then I know I need to draft a safety. And I know likely, given what's out there right now, Jaquan Brisker, Lewis Sign, those are guys that may very well be available at 32 and maybe even 34. So you're going to have opportunities, if you're the Detroit Lions, to address three key positional needs. Not only for depth, but for production. And I truly believe if you're the Detroit Lions, you can walk away with an edge, a safety, and I could argue a wide receiver if needed, given what happens in free agency. Yes. I think that is the consensus People across the room, across the board, would be very happy with that. I see no issue with it. And then the second thing, which I find more concerning, is you don't know how the board's going to play out, right? And we need to bring this up one more time in terms of draft strategy. Let's say there is no trading back. And it doesn't seem, at least if I'm a GM, I don't believe I'm trading back anywhere from 3 to 12. I don't see myself trading up with the Detroit Lions. Mm -hmm. Aiden Hutchinson is selected number one overall, even though I think that's a mistake for Jacksonville. Let's say he is selected. Is the conversation and the strategy, does it shift to a quarterback, Trayvon Walker, or Kayvon Thibodeau? I'm sticking with Kayvon. That's kind of been a guy that I've always been high on. I know that the questions, I get it, but you can't deny talent. And the guy's been uh, incredibly talented all through football. So, talented football player, give me Kayvon Thibodeau. I wouldn't be mad if it's Trayvon Walker, but if you're staying put at number two, I'm taking Kayvon. So, that's what I'm living with. And we'll see how that works out for the Lions if they do the same thing. Yeah, look, and guys, you need to understand something. The Lions are still recovering financially from Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia. You must understand this. 
And even if I say I think Asia, uh, excuse me, Allen Robinson is a good move, well, it needs to be a good move at the right price. Not at 17, 18, 15 million even. It needs to be a very friendly deal where the player is guaranteed a lot of money, but the salary is not what a premier wide receiver would be getting. And if you can't get Allen Robinson on the cheap, I would say, or at least on a fair deal, well, then you're not going to pursue him. And what you're going to end up doing is you're going to walk away with an edge, a safety, a wide receiver, and likely a wide receiver at 66 or 101, depends on what they plan on doing. But all I know is your wide receiver room right now is Amon Ross St. Brown, Josh Reynolds, Quintez Cephas. Those are your three. Very underwhelming. You need one legitimate player. That's why Allen Robinson is such a friendly player. It's why it's such a good idea. Because he offers you stability. See, the room because the room becomes Josh Reynolds. It becomes Alman Ross St. Brown. It becomes Allen Robinson. Now you don't have to draft a wide receiver with the first 34 picks. Now you can do that, but it's not a must. And then you go all in on defense. And then you walk away maybe with two edge rushers and a safety. Or an edge rusher, a safety, and linebacker. That, that is what you walk away with. And now you have a more complete football team. Now, is it ready to compete next year? No, it's not. But you are one step closer to becoming an actual football team. And there's no reason your football team next year can't win seven to nine games. Given the schedule and given, let's call a spade a spade. I'm done playing games with you guys. If Dan Campbell's a good head coach, he'll fucking win you football games. Do you understand me? I will say it one more time. If Dan Campbell is a good head coach, he will win you football games. This is a result-driven league. If you can't win football games, what the hell are we doing? So yes... That is your draft strategy for the foreseeable future. And whether you go out and get Allen Robinson, I don't really care. It's not even a must. But now we understand, well, we need to prioritize edge rusher, then wide receiver. I would go linebacker, then safety, given I believe I can truly find a legitimate safety in round three or four. That's what I'm doing. Which means I'm likely going, and please excuse me, may, they may not be on the board. They may not be on the board, but I'm just going to go off the current mock drafts. If you walk away with Aiden Hutchinson, you walk away with George Pickens, or Jahan Dotson, and then you take, I don't know, a Christian Harris, or a Jaquan Brisker, and then you take, uh, take a Chad Muma, or a Mika McFadden later. Okay, well we've addressed positional needs. It's doable. But that is your draft strategy, guys. And I don't see it changing. And I don't see where you fit in. Adam, you take a quarterback. Or Adam, you take a safety at number two. Or Adam, you take a quarterback at number two. I don't see where that fits with the financial situation of the Detroit Lions. And where they want to be going. Jeff? I love it. I love it. And I want to ask you something else that people are talking about in the chat. I thought it was interesting. Talk about draft strategy. And I know Aiden's probably number one on all of our boards, but for you, I know you're not as high as Trayvon Walker as I am, but are you out on Kayvon Thibodeau at two? Because you talk about these positions. No safety. All right? No quarterback, obviously. I just don't believe Kev Kayvon Thibodeau is a Dan Campbell man. And, well, you can call me stupid and say, well, Adam, it doesn't matter if he's not here in two years. It does. I'll tell you why. He reminds me of Jadavion Clowney. Maybe not so much Miles Garrett, more so Jadavian Clowney as a character. And guys, there's one thing that stops talent. The individual. And for me, Kayvon Thibodeau has, I'm going to get in my own way, written all over. I would not take him at two. I would do everything to trade back. I would consider Trayvon Walker. Oh, okay. Over Kayvon Thibodeau. So you're coming around on him. I would no, absolutely. And, and I think you're you're probably I would right on absolutely that. Absolutely consider. I think I'm just blinded by the talent. Uh, maybe I. He gotta, is so talented. And a part of me feels, and maybe I'm wrong for thinking this, but a part of me feels that a guy like Kayvon, 
could go to a culture like the Lions are kind of building right now with Dan and maybe change a little bit of his mindset. And I get what your point is. The only person I can get in Kayvon's way is Kayvon. And someone else said in the chat, doesn't matter. The Lions better be expecting to win games in the next couple of years because Kayvon will be ready to walk away for money. And uh, I, that honestly sounds absolutely right. So can't argue that too much. Trayvon Walker or Kayvon, I wouldn't matter who, who they choose. Trayvon's probably the better overall person and player, but yeah, look, I, I'm not trying to crap all over Kayvon Thibodeau right now and ruin his draft stock, but I'm I, sorry. Me personally, sorry. just not a fan. I've seen it too often. I've seen him at like Aiden Hutchinson is the perfect fit. That is why everybody wants him at number two. Why? Because he walks into this team day one and not only contributes. But causes no issues and does everything that is asked of him and will likely do develop into one of your leaders in the future. Yeah. Hey, you made it all the way through. I'm so proud of you. Why don't you make me more proud? Like, subscribe, and watch another video.